got each station, we got three lots of skipping. We've got uh, six stations in each circuit. Okay, so uh, we're working for 30 seconds and resting for 10 seconds. So, gonna see how we go. Just make sure to push yourself or yourselves and um yeah and see how how far we go and how we get on so let's start with a quick warm-up and then we're gonna get going so let's just do a warm-up here we're just doing some squats and reaching forward here so the first circuit is gonna be upper body with the skipping yeah so we're gonna do some push-ups in there i'm gonna do some downward dog press-ups or push-ups i'm gonna do some crab dips with crab toe touches for the first circuit okay let's kick up here alternate inside keep going Nice. Perfect. Keep going. Doing really well. Kicking nice and high. Almost there. Let's go. Let's do one more. Nice. Let's do some back kicks here. Do really well. And then let's go here. Really open up here. So forward cross and then back. Open up your chest and open up your back at the same time. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then up here. Nice. Almost there. Let's do two more. One more. Nice. Okay, so like I said, we've got six um stations in each circuit. We got three lots of skipping and three lot of upper body movements in the first circuit. Okay, so we've got skipping to start with, 30 seconds. And then we go into push-ups with the downward dog. Okay, so your push-ups, you can do your push-ups on your knees or you can do them off your knees, yeah? So if you're doing them on your knees, just make sure you keep your hips tucked in, yeah? So from there, you're going to push, you're going to do two push-ups and then when you get to here, you're going to come off your knees and do a downward dog, yeah? And then back onto your knees and do the two, two push-ups. So two push-ups one downward dog and then back into skipping again you're resting for 10 seconds in between each exercise back into skipping again and then after that we're going to go into a downward dog position so downward dog here okay and then from here this is where you're going to do your push-ups from so little push-ups yeah whilst you're holding your downward dog position yeah so hold that v and do your push-ups from that position it's not easy but push yourself and see um go as much as you can go yeah do as many as you can do okay so after that we've got another set of push-ups and then we have got the crabs so we sit down into the floor yeah we're gonna go into the dips we're gonna do some crab dips here we dip using the arms we do four of these and then after that we go into Toe touches, okay? So, those ones, all right? So, we're gonna get going 
in about 30 seconds, yeah? Just take a few seconds for me to catch my breath properly. And then we go. Okay, so we're getting ready to go. Remember, we start with some skipping. Okay. All right, let's see how far we can go or how far you can go. Um, we're going to go for 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Our first circuit, upper body movements with skipping. Okay, we're going for a skipping now. Let's go. Starting now. Let's go. Perfect. Keep going. I'm not, a, I'm not the best at skipping, but we do what we can do. Keep going. Push yourselves. Do really well. Stay strong. Almost there. Just a few more seconds here. And rest. Okay. So we got 10 seconds rest. We're going to go into push ups now with a downward dog. So two push ups and then a downward dog. Let's go. One, two, and then downward dog. One. Let's go. One, two, and then downward dog. If you're doing them on your knees, keep your hips tucked in like so. Then come up. Downward dog. Let's go. One, two, perfect. Downward dog. Keep it going. One, two, downward dog. And rest. Okay. We're going back into another set of skipping. So if you've got your skipping rope, we're going to skipping going now. Let's go. If you haven't got a skipping rope, it's all good. You can just use your own body weight. Okay? Just make sure you're really imitating skipping with a rope, yeah? With a jump rope. Keep going. Almost there. And rest. Okay. Now we're going to go into this position here. And then we're gonna do some push-ups. Let's go. So here, push-ups. Let's go. So keep that downward dog position and then just do the push-ups from here. Nice. Make sure you got that V, V position. Keep going. Ooh, let's go. Almost there. Last few seconds here. One more, ah, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go into another set of skipping. We got two more rounds here. We're going in, two, one, let's go. Nice, stay strong. You can do it, push yourself. Do really well, it's all in the mind. Mental strength, you can do this. Keep going, guys. Push it through. Almost there. And rest. Okay, now we got four dips, crab dips, and four toe touches. So we're gonna dip here. One, let's go. One, two, three. Four, and then toe touches here. One, two, three, four. Dips, one, two, three, four. Toe touches, one, two, three, four. Dips, one, two, three, four. Let's go, one, two, three, four. And rest, well done. That's our first circuit, done. Well done team. We'll rest for about 60 seconds to 90 seconds, and then we go for our next one. So for our next one guys, okay, welcome. 
um, when I was just joined in, Priya. Okay, so next we got lower body. So we're gonna go into skipping again, and then we're gonna start with the first lower body movement. It's gonna be overhead squat. So you hold your arms here, nice and high. Make sure you don't see your arms here. They're held nicely, directly over your head, and then you're gonna go into some squats, okay? You're gonna do some squats there for 30 seconds, and then back into skipping, and then after that, we're gonna go into reverse lunge and reach. So remember, reverse lunge, you're stepping back, okay? Nice and centered here, guys. Stepping back, coming in, alternating sides. So we're reaching up as we step back here, okay? So that's the, uh, that's the next one. And then after that, we've got another lot of skipping. And then after this lot of skipping, we're gonna go into lateral lunges with reach. Nice and wide here. We're gonna go across the body, okay? Making sure here, we don't wanna lean forward. We're reaching forward without actually leaning forward. As you transfer that weight into the sides, making sure you're also pushing your hips backwards, okay? So that's that one, okay? Let's get ready to go then. Okay, so this one is lower body, okay? We're starting with our skipping. Okay, getting ready. We're going in five, four, three, two, and then one. Let's go. Nice. Push yourselves. Keep going. Do really well. Keep pushing. Do really well. It's all in the mind, guys. You can do this. Let's drop that body fat. Skipping is one of the best things to really work on your endurance and rest. Okay, so now we go squats, overhead. Squats, going now. Let's go. Make sure your arms are over your head, okay? If you start to see your arms, it means you're starting to lose form. So keep them over your head. So if you had weights, you would hold the weights here and then just do those squats. Make sure you've got that neutral spine and then you're sitting back into your heels. Keep it going. Let's do one more here. And rest, okay? Back into skipping, guys. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Perfect. Stay strong. You can do it. Push yourselves. Learn to strength. Nice, almost there. Oops, got myself tumbled into the rope and rest. Okay, now we're gonna go into reverse lunge and reach. Yeah, alternating sides. We go in now. Let's go. Nice and centered into the middle, going nice and low. Just before your knee gets to the floor, you wanna hold it there and then come up. Okay. Make sure your knee doesn't hit the floor, guys. So we're going nice and low, but we don't want to injure our knee. Okay, keep going. Straight down. Almost there. And rest. One more lot of skipping in this circuit. Okay, we're going in. Three, two, one. Let's go. Perfect. Stay strong. You can do it. Push yourselves. Keep going, guys. Push through. Like I was saying before, skipping is good for endurance, good for burning body fat, okay? And a lot, of, lot more other things. And rest. Okay. Now we got one more. This one is lateral lunges and reach. Let's go. 
Make sure not to lean forward. Making sure as you're transferring that weight from side to side, you're also sitting back into your heels. Keep going. Nice. Make sure you're pushing your hips back as you go into the sides. Keep going, guys. Try not to lean. You're just reaching forward without leaning. Keep going. We're almost there. One more here and rest. Well done. Do really well. Rest up. Okay, make sure you stay hydrated, guys. Drinking lots of water. Whew. Do really well, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go into skipping and then core. Yeah, so for this one, we're gonna go skipping. And then we're gonna do a plank. Make sure we're holding the plank onto our elbows, yeah? Remember with the plank, guys, make sure your elbows are directly under your shoulders when you go down. Keep your hips tucked in. Squeeze that belly button into your spine. So that's that one. And then back into another lot of skipping. And then from there, we're gonna go into a plank with a hip twist. So we hold the low plank, and then we're gonna be twisting the hips into the side. So here, we're gonna just go here, twisting hips into the sides as we hold that plank, okay? After that, we do another lot of skipping, and then after that, we're gonna go again into another low plank, but this time we're gonna add in some mountain climbers. So, here, nice and low, we go middle, middle, side, side, okay? So two into the middle, two into the side. All right, let's do this. This is circuit three, okay? Working for 30 seconds, resting for 10. You're good, guys? Let's do this, okay? We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Perfect. Keep it going, guys. Do really well. Stay strong. Guess what, guys? I didn't start my stopwatch, but keep going, keep going. We might skip a bit longer in this one, guys. Sorry, but you can do it, guys. It's my fault. I forgot to start the stopwatch. Keep going, guys. Nice. Almost there. Do really well. Push yourselves. Last few seconds here and rest okay now we're gonna go into the floor and do the plank we're going in three two one let's go keep your hips tucked in remember elbows directly under your shoulders okay keep those hips tucked in do really well hold it pushing through make sure your hips are not raised Keep holding, guys. You can do it. Under 10 seconds. We're almost there. Head down. Neutral spine. And rest. Okay. We're going to go into another lot of skipping. Come up. We're going into skipping in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. Stay strong. Do really well. Push yourselves. You can do this. Remember, it's all in your mind. Mental strength. Just push yourself. Okay, we all at different levels. Most important thing is to push yourself at whatever level you're at. Work out of your comfort zone. We're almost there. And rest. Okay, we're gonna go down now. We're gonna twist our hips. Let's hold that plank. And then twist our hips. We're going now. Let's go. Twist. Into the side. This one is really hitting the obliques. The sides of your stomach. Keep going, guys. Woo. Nice. We're halfway. Keep going. Stay strong. 
We're almost there. Last few seconds here. And rest. Okay. We've got one more lot of skipping. Let's go, guys. We're going in. Two, one. Let's do it. Oopsie. Nice. Stay strong. Remember what I said. You don't need a skipping rope. You can just skip without the rope. Okay? Just push yourself. And the 10 seconds here. Do really well. And rest. Okay. Our last one is going to be a plank with the mountain climbs. Okay. We go in two, one. Let's go. One, two into the middle. One, one out. Two into the middle. One on each side out. So really hitting your obliques as well. Keep going. Nice. Let's go. Almost there. Last few seconds here. And rest. Oh, well done, guys. Rest up. Sweating buckets. Okay. Drink some water. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink some water, guys. We're gonna take about two minutes here because we got about two to three more circuits. So we're just gonna take two minutes rest and then we're gonna go into our next one. Okay, so I'm just running you through what we're doing next. So here, we've got skipping again as every circuit, have a circuit that we've done. We got three lots of skipping. In between those skippings, we got, the first one is squat here, when you come up, so squat as you come up, yeah, going across your body, kicking up and then punching with your opposite arm, okay, kicking up with your opposite leg, and then back into skipping again, and then after that, we got the high plank, so this time we're going to go into a plank onto our arms, here, okay, so we're going to reach twice, one, two and then downward dog okay so reach twice and then downward dog and then back into skipping again guys and then after that we're gonna go down we're gonna lie down onto our back okay we're gonna do the glute bridge keep your feet nice and close into into your um into your bum and then from there you want to push your hips upwards okay keep your stomach squeezed in as you push up here down okay so that will be the last one in this circuit okay we're getting ready to go in 30 seconds guys it's taking a bit longer rest with this one before we go okay i'm just gonna get my skipping rope ready and then this time i will remember the stopwatch guys i'm not gonna make you skip for longer than 30 seconds okay we're getting ready to go in 15 seconds guys we're going in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 let's go skip it nice Whew. keep going guys push yourselves Perfect. Stay strong. You can do this. Ten more seconds here, guys. Pushing through. Almost there. And rest. Okay, guys. We're going to go into the squat here. Then kick. We're going now. Let's go. Squat. Come up. So, you can use some dumbbells here, light dumbbells, water bottles, 
whatever guys just make sure you keep in correct form yeah and kick nice and high keep going perfect almost there under 10 seconds doing really well let's do one more here and rest okay getting ready for skipping going in three two one let's go nice stay strong push yourselves keep going do really well guys keep pushing 10 more seconds here pushing through almost there last few seconds and rest okay guys we're gonna go into that high plank reach reach and then downward dog go in now let's go reach reach and then downward dog reach reach keep it going reach reach nice Keep going. Almost there. And rest. Okay. Back into skipping. One more lot of skipping in this circuit. Going in. Three, two, one. Let's go. guys keep going sweating buckets here 10 more seconds guys keep going last few seconds here and rest okay guys now we're gonna go into the glute bridge okay lie down let's go down have your heels nice and close to your glutes okay you can hold at the top for about two seconds keep going guys nice keep going pushing through let's go this is our last one and then we rest let's go nice let's go and rest Whew. well done guys rest up oopsie how are we doing guys Vivian how are you doing <laughs> unmute yourself Vivian talk to me That's what we want, yeah? We want to make sure we're sweating buckets. Hey Priya, how you doing? Hi, I'm here. Yeah? yeah? You're pushing yourself? Sorry? You're pushing yourself? Yeah, I'm trying to. That's good. Remember? It's been okay. It's been better. That's fine. Remember that we're all at different levels, yeah? Most importantly, is to make sure you push out of your comfort zone. Just work a bit harder than you would do if you were just working out by yourself, yeah? Push through a bit more, okay? With consistency comes building endurance and stamina. Okay, guys, so we're going to go into another circuit, yeah? Again, working for 30 seconds, resting for uh, 10 seconds. So, again, we go three lots of skipping, and then in between that, we got the bicycle. So... We're going to go into the floor here, and then we're going to have our arms here, into the back, okay? From there, we're going to go here, okay? Bicycle, going across your body, elbow to knee. You can do it in a more advanced way, which should be something like that, okay? 
All right, so, or you can just do it uh, in a more modified version, which is the one I was doing at the beginning. Okay, guys, so after that, we're gonna go into another lot of skipping. And then after that, that uh, second lot of skipping, we're gonna go into some leg raises, okay? So, arms under your hips here, keep your core engaged, squeeze your stomach in, all right? So, you can do it this way, which is a more modified version, just bring your knees into your chest, or you can go a bit more harder here. We go out, and then we bring it in. We go out, and then we bring it in. Or we can make it even more harder by going up. Okay? So that's that one. And then after that, we're going to go another lot of skipping. And then to finish off this circuit, we got Russian twist. So we can have it with your feet off the floor and then twist or feet on the floor and then twist. Most importantly, lean back, engage your core. So belly button squeezed into your spine and then make sure you're twisting into the sides. Okay, guys, we're going to get going in 20 seconds. Just going to have some water and then we'll get going soon. Okay, we're getting ready to go. Get your skipping ropes ready if you're using a skipping rope. <clears throat> okay, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it, skipping. Nice, keep going. Push him through. Perfect. Uh oh, go caught up in my own skipping rope. Keep going, guys. Almost there. Do really well. Hand rest. Okay, we got the bicycle. Okay, let's go down. We're going now. Let's go. So, modified version. We're here. Okay, keep it there. Or you can do a more advanced version, which is here, we're keeping the feet off the floor. Make sure you're really bringing that elbow into, into your knee, sorry guys. And rest. Okay guys, I'm gonna go back into skipping again. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. Keep pushing, guys. Do really well. In our classes, we push ourselves. Okay. We'll make sure we're achieving results. So let's go. Let's keep pushing. We're almost there. Last few seconds here. And rest. Okay? We're gonna go into leg raises now. Or knee raises. Arms under your hips. Okay? So, let's go. Modified version. You can just do that. Keep your core engaged. Or you can extend out and bring it in. Extend out, bring it in. Or we can go into a more advanced version. Keep going. Nice. We can keep it there as well. And just keep going. And rest. Okay, guys. We're going to go into another lot of skipping. In three, two, one. Let's go. Last lot of skipping in this circuit. Keep going, guys. After this one, we got a Russian twist. Keep going. Push through. Nice. Stay strong, guys. You can do it. Okay. If that happens to you when you skip it, just reset and go again. And rest. Okay. Russian twist. Okay. 
We're going in two, one. Let's go. You're just one. So this is a more modified version with your feet on the floor. Most importantly, keep your stomach engaged. Okay, so belly button squeezed into your spine. Okay, so you can do it that way or you can have your feet on the floor, off the floor and do it that way. Almost there. A few more seconds. And rest. Okay, guys. Oh, boy. Okay. We're going to try and do one more circuit, guys. Okay. Just one more circuit. Let's rest for a bit. Last circuit. And then we do finish off with some stretching, yeah? The final circuit. All right, so again, we got skipping, same as all the other circuits that we've done so far. And then after that, we're gonna go into the bear crow. So what you wanna do with the bear crow, you wanna make sure first you set up correctly. So you wanna make sure that your, your knees are directly under your hips, about hip width apart, your arms are directly under your shoulders, about shoulder width apart. Okay, so that's your setup to start with, okay? Then from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start, you're gonna lift your knees off the floor about two inches or so, and then you're gonna start moving forward, opposite arm to opposite leg, okay? When you get to here, wherever you're gonna end it, you're gonna reverse the movement, doing the same thing, opposite arm to opposite leg, yeah? As you go. Make sure you keep your knees off the floor though. Okay, straight from there, you're going to another lot of skipping. Okay, and then after this lot of skipping, we're gonna go into a bear plank. So the setup is the same as the one before. Again, knees directly under your hips, arms directly under your shoulders, shoulder width apart for your arms, um, hip width apart for your knees. You're gonna lift your knees off the floor about one, one and a half to two inches, and then from there, you're gonna go from there, raise up into a downward dog. Come back again, here, make sure your knees don't touch the floor. You're always leaving that gap between your knees and the floor. Okay, so that one, and then after that, we're gonna go into another lot of skipping, guys. And then to finish off, we're gonna go into um, the bear plank, yeah? We're just gonna hold it, basically, here, guys. We're finishing off with holding it, okay? You just hold it. So same setup, arms directly under your shoulder, shoulder width apart, knees directly under your hips, hip, hip width apart. But this time, we're just gonna lift our knees off the floor and then we're gonna hold it. Core engage. We just hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's what we're doing to finish off. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go. Whew. I feel like we rested a bit too long with this one. Okay, that's fine though. This is the last one, we've been doing a lot. So, we're going into skipping, guys. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. It's the last circuit, guys. Push through. We've done really well so far. Okay, let's finish off on the high. Let's keep the intensity. Do really well, guys. Pushing through. Keep going. Stay strong. You can do this. Push yourselves. Almost there. Last few seconds here. And rest. Okay, we're gonna go into the bear crawl. Okay, we're gonna set up. And then we're gonna go. Let's go. Keep going. And then we're gonna reverse the movement when we get to to the front, keep going, reverse the movement, nice, we're almost there, and rest, okay guys, we're now going to another lot of skipping, okay, uh -oh. going in, three, two, one, let's go, Nice. 
Keep going, guys. We're almost done, guys. Push yourselves. You can do this. We're almost done. You can see that light at the end of the tunnel. Almost there. Push through. And rest. Okay. Now we've got the bear plank into a downward dog. Set up correctly. We go in. Now, let's go. Core engage. Remember, your knees don't touch the floor. We're always leaving that gap about one inch, one and a half inches. So, between your knees and the floor. Keep going. Core engage. And rest. Okay. Last lot of skipping, guys. We're almost there. Going in. Three, two, one. Let's go. Find a lot of skipping. This is it, guys. Woo. Going a bit faster for this one. Let's see if I can do it. If you can do it, guys, go for it. This is it. It's the final one. Woo. Ten more seconds. Keep going, guys. And rest. Okay. We're finishing off with a bear plank. We're going. Now, let's go. Hold it. Woo. Keep holding, guys. Core engaged. Keep holding. Woo. Ten more seconds. You're just fine. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Oh my God, guys. We've done it. Well done, guys. Okay. Let's rest for a bit before we finish off with that stretching, yeah? Well done, guys. Oh my God. Okay. Get her into your lungs. Deep breaths. Let's bring our heart rate down a bit before we do our stretching. Well, guys, Whew. let's rest for another 30 seconds and then I'll take you through some stretches, guys. <clears throat> okay, just some quick stretches and then we're done. Okay, so. We're gonna start with this one. Let's bring our fingers together. Let's stretch up here. Push up into the ceiling, nice and tall. Okay, hold that stretch. Nice and tall here. Keep holding. Okay, now we're gonna go down. And then we're gonna add in some hamstring, but we our hamstrings, but we wanna also make sure that we open up our spine as we go down. So let's round the back, back as we go down. Let's go. Slowly rounding your back as you go down. Make sure your toes are pointing forward. Your feet are about hip width apart. Okay, go as far as you can do it. Go if you can touch the floor, then touch the floor. If not, just take it to where you can take it to. So you want to hold it here, make sure you lock your knees. So you want to feel this stretch, the posterior, okay, through your posterior chain. So you want to feel it through the back of your legs. You want to feel, feel it through your calves and your hamstrings. Your hamstrings, guys, are the back of your thighs, yeah? So hold it here. 
We're gonna hold for another 10 seconds here, guys. Okay, we're holding, keep holding, guys. We're almost there. Few more seconds here. And then we're gonna come up to the top here and we're gonna bring it here. Okay, so we wanna open up her back here. So shoulder blades forward, shoulders forward. Okay, so really open up through your upper back here. You're bringing your shoulder blades forward. Your shoulders forward, keep holding. You can also bring your chin into your chest. So that way you're stretching through the back of your neck as well. Keep holding guys. Do really well. Let's hold for another 10 seconds here. We're almost there. A few more seconds here guys. Okay, nice. Okay, guys, next we're gonna cross our feet. Okay, so just cross your feet and then you're gonna lean into the front leg. Okay, so we wanna feel that stretch through sides of our stomach, through our obliques. Lean to the side, guys. Keep holding. Make sure you're leaning, feel that stretch. If you're not leaning, you're not gonna feel the stretch. Keep leaning. Do really well. Okay, we're gonna switch it. Let's cross feet to the other side. We're gonna lean, feel that stretch. Nice, keep holding guys. Just a few more stretches here. Okay, all right guys. Next one, let's go here. Bring your arm across your body. Nice. Keep holding. Okay. I am sweating buckets, guys. But it's good. Had a good one. This is good as well because I've had a cold, as you know, guys. I've had a cold. So it's good that I'm sweating loads. I want to sweat this cold out of my system. Okay, guys. Let's switch to the other side. Okay, really extend that arm across your body. Keep holding guys, you're doing really well. A few more seconds here. Okay, let's do the quads. Okay, really bring that heel into your glutes. Yeah, if you need to hold on to the wall, if you're struggling with balance, hold on to the wall, otherwise, just really extend by bringing that knee or heel, sorry, into your glute. You're gonna feel this stretch, the front of your thigh, yeah? So your quad, okay, keep holding. A few more seconds here, guys, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's switch, other side, same thing. Really bring that heel into your glute. Feel that stretch through the front of your thigh. Keep holding. Remember, if you're struggling with balance, you can hold on to something, okay? Make sure you're feeling that stretch though. I don't want you to be jumping all over the place because you're struggling with balance without actually feeling the stretch. So hold on to something if you need to. Keep holding. Almost there, guys. Okay, let's finish off by opening up our chest. So we start with our arms here, arms forward. Okay, let's go here. Let's extend them out. Shoulder blades into the middle. We're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring it back here again. And then we're gonna extend out again here. Five, four, three, two, one, okay? We're gonna do one more, but this time for 10 seconds. This is our last one. Five, 10, sorry. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Give yourself a clap, pat on the back. Well done, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Well done, guys. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. Whew. 
So that was our workout for today. Um, my group is a uh, virtual fit camp. You can find me on Facebook, which is virtual fit camp. It's a private group. Please come and join. And if you want to join the classes, um, the classes are 50 pounds a month. Um, we hold classes from Monday to Saturday. Okay. So, um, you can join in any classes that you want to join in from Monday to Saturday. And um, <clears throat> we um, do uh, about 45 minutes to an hour classes. And we do classes uh, which incorporate um, um, hip classes. So we do hip classes. We do legs, bones, and thumbs. And we do tone up as well, yeah? So come and join in. You can um, go on to my Instagram. DM me, okay, um, and I can send you more information, and then hopefully you can join the group and join the family, okay, so my Instagram is Josie, J-O-S-I-E dot Jax, J-A-C-K-S 29, okay, so Josie dot Jax 29, okay, um, hopefully you get to do that one, and yeah, please make sure to also subscribe to my channel, yeah, if you're new here, please do that, guys. I uh, appreciate all your support. And please make sure you share this video with some friends and family. As you can see, it's a good workout to do. You're going to sweat buckets. You're going to burn a lot of calories. It's going to be good for building endurance, guys, building your stamina. So please, yeah, give this video as well a thumbs up, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining in. Bye.